Hello, my name is Neil Light from Skyway Software, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to take the Spring services in the Spring DSL and make them accessible as SOAP services uh, using JAXWS. Uh, for this demonstration, I'm actually going to go ahead and use a project that was scaffolded in a previous video, and I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, open up the service package double click on the service and that's going to take me to the service editor and in the previous video I showed how we can actually make this service available via DWR in this one I'm going to show you how we can make it available via JAXWS so I'm going to go ahead and synchronize make sure that everything's up to date and then I will t actually click on the service itself and specify that I want to publish it as a service. Um, and then optionally, uh, I have a bunch of options in here, so I have a lot of you know, fine-grained control of exactly how this is published using JAXWS. But uh, one of some of the more interesting uh, configurations are the fact that I can go in here and specifically exclude the um, methods that I don't want to be published via JAXWS. So, but in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and doing nothing more than just checking that web service. I'm then going to go ahead and hit save and I will redeploy my project and then what I'll do is just do a real quick verification that the application defo deployed successfully that there weren't any errors everything looks fine there and then what I'll do is actually I'll switch over to a browser this is actually the user interface for my scaffolded application and then what I'll do is I'll actually put in the URL for accessing the WSDL that is generated by JAXWS for the, my uh, scaffolded service. So I'll go ahead and click here and this is the WSDL that you can then pass on to uh, anyone else who wants to access your services uh, via SOAP.